the, there is not going to be need for introduction that is in the first place so I beg we all put uh, our phones on the sides and then we start moving hope you are all fine Excuse me, can we also uh, try to close those doors and uh, uh, those uh, those windows? Make sure you close all of them, and we we can converge all together so that we can have very precise because we don't have time, and we are supposed to handle everything with the deep secrets. And this is a top secret. We are not going to entertain anyone who's going to. I mean, whatever is going to be said here should be left here. I don't expect anyone to leave this place and go with any kind of information or share it with anyone or anyone who kindly switch off your phones and we get a secure motive at the function. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Uh, so, we all know why we are here. We have been briefed in, uh, with some codes. And that one, I'm very sure, you have the codes. Mama is just ready to listen to... What should do... Actually, I call them the resolutions that are going to come from here. I have a few... Uh, Points we have to talk about right here. I hope you understand that the situation ahead of us is a, is a high risk situation, but we also know that as human beings we are always at war. And the war is always continuous. And when you talk about politics, politics is all about war. Is a cold war where you have to manipulate all forms of factors that show up in any way so that you can make use of them. That is what we are here for. Now, um, Excuse me, uh, we also have uh, a number of things I want to talk about, but please first pay right, uh, maximum attention as we start off uh, with this uh, program. Yes, I finally got what I want. So, we are hosted here. Uh, you must have worried about the security personnel around. Uh, but you should never mind, you should never mind, because uh, in such a situation, this parasha home is uh, is an office which is capable of doing so much. So, uh, first before I read out these points, uh, let me First of all, call my ma and then if she agrees, you can to, to present on a, on a loud speaker, then we can take it on. If she does not, then we take on the alternative. Yes, Mama. Yes, please. Yes, I'm very thankful, right, Honorable. Yes. Yes. 
Now all the teams are in place. We have Team Alpha, uh, Team Bravo, we have Team Charlie, and Team Delta, they are all here. So I just, uh, honor by just to request for your permission, if I can uh, air you up uh, on, a, on a loudspeaker, maybe you talk to them. No, I haven't, I haven't. So we had uh, we had the dialogue on a, a number of things, but uh, majorly we have not uh, we have not discussed uh, uh, the, the, the the five key points. So I I I, 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 I thought in my mind if you could like to uh, to have them with you, you talk to them or okay okay. So let me read them to you, then to them, then uh, uh, they, they shall pick it up from there. Thank you very much. Yes, comrades, I'm sorry. Uh, right Honorable is a, a bit busy. They engaged with the, the little angels. Last time, take care of them. People, so she, uh, she's, uh, she's not able to, to address uh, these issues, but uh, I have them on paper. So the first thing is uh, we are looking at a uh, cold war uh, within the first family. And we all know about it. Um, that is the first thing. Then the second is... Uh, a war within the Soga sub region that is point number two. Uh, then, point number three we have a war for speakership. War number four is the vision for the higher, for the highest office in the land. And the number five is talk about. Uh, the finances regarding uh, the conspiracy between uh, uh, we have uh, we are going to talk about uh, a farmer's house uh, that we have a uh, honorable deputy speaker who is also conniving with uh, David Bahati and other people see that they can own a farmer's house and also uh, push uh, the, the trade ministry in, uh, in, uh, in Kingdom Kampala. Uh, they, 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 they expect to make about, uh, about 24 billion and uh, from a contract of 8 billion, a 10 years contract of 8 billion can make about 24 billion and that will be enough power uh, to prepare uh, the deputy speaker to a speakership and yet um, the foundation has not been laid uh, for right honorable to position herself for the highest office. Now uh, we are going to be very brief at this I know uh, some of the representatives here might not like the topic, but I think uh, we can all agree that neither should uh, the first son, neither should uh, His Excellency, the President of Uganda. I mean, I mean, I, I, I want to, to make that point very clear. Um, It is either January Cocktail 7, the president of this country, or possibly we see the right honorable, or at least another member from the first family, whose name we all know. I don't want to have a mention of it, I don't want to be quoted. But at least from there, not, if not January Cocktail 7, it is either our right honorable, or it is. Uh, Another member of the first family, you must know that. 
uh, from the size of the in-law, from the side of the in-laws, and we, I hope we can all agree on that. And now here is the plot. Uh, we are going to be, I'm going to, to be very, very brief on all the points because the first thing is to inform you. Many of you come from the intelligence establishment. You can see how to start your, I don't know how to say that. Um, well, please, j j just go on. You see, uh, let me just give you some, some guidelines here. I'm very sorry to intervene, but it is really something very important we should all, we should all um, put focus on. None of you members come from the top intelligence officers of this country. And what I would suggest, the first thing is that we are here in total secrecy. Some of you are working for politicians. Some of you have been sent by politicians. And what I would think and advise as well is that from the intelligence perspective, you all have assets. Each of you here has assets in intelligence. So whatever is being outlined here, we are not subjected to be taught on what to do, what to say, but we have to go out in the field with a benchmark when gathering information. You deploy those assets. If you need extra funds to run this operation, it can happen from this side. Those funds can come, but please align yourselves in these establishments, in official establishments. Only keep this as an additional work from your regular work and whatever, is, whatever we collect and we have it fully, you know, fully self-explanatory, we can find means of, you know, channeling this, this information to the relevant authority, especially the commander in chief. So that is what you should be looking at. So in this battle, we should, first of all, we are not going to mention names of any person. That is the first, the first question we should all be having. We know Team Alpha, Team Bravo, Team Chari, and Team Delta. You are all here representing very important people whose names should not, never be so soiled. And currently, the current leader, the current chairman of this meeting, current, please, I just request you, keep the names out. You may not be well established in the, in the intelligence spheres, but it's really very dangerous. Even sometimes for us in intelligence, we, begin, we, we believe that even the wars have ears. We are here to make money, that is the first thing. Then to push an agenda, which is very big. And sometimes it can be equated to treason, punishable by death. So we should have all this as a careful, a carefully uh, implementable project. We should address all, the, all whatever is being addressed here as a top secret exercise, a top secret task. We should not allow any leakage of information from one party to another. Whatever we get, get to understand it, digest it, and please deploy it from your inside. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for intervening, but I hope I've, um, I've added some positive interference. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate uh, Thank you. Uh, it is uh, so as you have advised. I'm not going to to execute the details of the five points as per Mama, the, the, the me just call it because um, no, no, really, no, it's okay. What, what what I would think is um, you can. I mean. Give her any kind of name that, that can really cover up because we don't want to mention names. Information can flow from here. There are so many visible, invisible, and invisible gadgets that can be used, especially when it comes to sound recording. So simply avoid any single name. Let it be very flat and very plain. Thank you very much. Okay, I understand. So, um, I'm going to create the name Pratnam. So, uh, now you should know what exactly it stands for. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, uh, uh, Pratinam has established these five points. And you, in your intelligence spheres, you know how to handle such topics. 
Now, first of all, we are going to identify the real enemies. I'm not going to call them enemies, but the adversaries, the contenders. It is very automatic that uh, the first son is directly in the to success to succeed the father. And it is very clear. But as we already say, we are all not old enough to know what exactly will happen in this life. Especially if it is beyond tomorrow. You can plan tomorrow, but even then, many times you may come out to uh, just a few things that could do. I don't know how you can call them, but I think uh, Let us look at the speakership. When you look at the Cold War in the office of the speaker, you realize that the current speaker is a political opposed for taking emotional pursuits. Then we also see that the deputy is gaining a lot of momentum and that momentum is really super fantastic at the international arena, at the local arena, even the face of his excellency, the president. And that is exactly going to, bring, to, to blend in in the fact that when you look at the Chavazinga ship, from the five clans that we are supposed to take response, responsibility. Taiba took more than 200 MPs on his back. And to be more sincere to that, in the intelligence spheres, especially Tim Arufa, who is very conversant with the political intelligence, you know what that capital means. Then it is coupled by the fact that uh, the first son also attended in full mm. and they posed for a photo, a replica photo, when General Yuri Kaputam 7 stood alongside His Highness Madam TV in agenda and then Mama Janet Kataha. The same happened that Nadiope and Kainurugaba were together. Then Mutasi and the Charlotte were also on the other side. Now, you must be able to, to get those great lenses. And in your intelligence spheres, you know what that means. And that is political capital. You must know, we defeated the Kadaga, and the health will never be the same again from that defeat. Kasura Rumumba survived by a whisker, just a whisker, and then Jacob had to pave way so easily. So here we are. So we have a subject called Alison. The official married wife of Nadiope. Who is also not a Chavazing. I hope you get that clearly. And you should know. Now, we can create a contradiction which is already existing at this moment. We need to take it up and make it very real. We can break down the soga. Until it can no longer stand. Now, here in Vukedea, I think uh, you have witnessed a number of things happening. You see how we are, we are building a new political foundation from here. Now, 
it seems to, to, to look very normal that Kadaga deputy speaker became a speaker of the second yes right honorable second now from there we also saw another regime that came up Kadaga and uh, Jacob after Kadaga, Jacob took over. The deputy became speaker. So in the focus we also we should know that we have uh, Tayewa at this moment. Mm? That man, very rich. Mm? Very rich. But there is a hook and the battle has been ongoing. The Permanent Secretary of Trade has been giving us a lot of information which we shared here and there and they made sure that it reached, it reached to His Excellency. So Taiwan can be 23 billion richer any time and that is enough capital. It's only the biggest money lender in our parliament. So we should think. We thank you greatly. And make sure you counter every effort that can bring down this man. Because we can only leave that, uh, that position of speakership when there is a virtue in the highest office which we, we can be ready to occupy. Now we are putting all of these five factors together. And the main topic why we are doing this, the main purpose of doing this, that these five points as laid by Platinum are all pointing at that. They are all pointing at that. It is all encircled. And we can give it a superstructure which we can break down into substructures and these structures we can capitalize on them to create another cold battle. We can do it. We can do it. We were defeated, defeated badly in the Busoga Kingdom. Defeated. All our colleagues have been pushed away. You know those things. You know how it all moved. You know how it all moved. You know the invisible attacks that we are done. At least you know it. If it was for great treatment, advanced treatment, of course, Lumumba, Nadiope would not be alive. Kadaga would not be alive. Jacob never survived. Many of you here are soldiers and you know what it means. You know what it means. Our bosses should always be protected and should always remain behind the curtains, never to be seen. We let them keep operating in the shadows, but we are the frontliners. And you make sure that at the front line, you do what you're supposed to do. If you are looking for Mola, Mola is there. You want money? Money is there. You want francs, dollars, euros? All of it is here. We are the directors of currency in this country, so there is a lot we can do. So we need a lot of emphasis and get result oriented. Short of that, we are going to suffer setback. Whatever is being done can be equated to treason, but you are the masters of information crafting. You are the masters of information manipulation. And with our system, 
you can choke any kind of information you want, you can alter any kind of information you want, and you can fight any form of battle, be it hot, cold, physical, psychological, possibly even spiritual, who knows. How can you just wake up and allow the rise of Kadak? How can you allow the rise of Justin Kasuli, Rumumba? Let them die permanently. Let the heroes rise. We have great people who can do so much here. So much here. So a combination of those. First of all, we can leverage on the contradiction in the Busoga Kingdom. The woman is here from a very powerful family with the UK citizenship. The, certif the marriage certificate is authentic. Then we can disrupt. We have a very large media coverage that can help us to subdue anyone who comes in the path. We can do that. And we should never worry. We have that capacity. For us, we don't care. It is all about the results. If some people die out of collateral circumstances, the state burials there, they shall be honored in parliament. They shall be given state burials. But what matters most is who controls the future. If you don't control the future, you are finished. If power must rotate within President Museveni's family, it should cross to the inner. If it goes out of the president is right, the, 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 the president Museveni is right, it should come to Kedia. Busoga sub region should rise. Give no room for the Baganda. They are always very good people. When it comes to doing the the, 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 the medium roles. Don't leave them at the top, don't leave them at the, the bottom, but don't put them at the top. They are mediocre, are very good at that. They can play a very good role, a very, very good role. So we have another pertinent, pertinent, uh, pertinent issue uh, that we also have to and next from the five points. We are looking at Bobby Wine with his madness. Then we have LOP in their defiance not to attend parliament. So can we just say platinum gets an excuse as a lactating mother? And the Red Star Iwa suffer the wrath of the opposition. Possibly we do that. Please note all of these points down. Because those are tasks for you. And we should come here in a fortnight and you deliberate. You are here to pick these tasks and then pick some money for you. So your coordinator is right here. You are all familiar with him. All the details you need. It should come from him. All of the reports you have, all of the inquiries you have, is right here. Please. But please, please, please do not forget how we called. Here we are speaking openly, but you know when we are out there, first of all, avoid digital communication. Because digital communication, it leaves permanent signatures. Those electronic signatures can be traced and they can be found. I want to believe and to assume that you are well familiar with communication security. So the moment you do that, don't use email, don't use telephones. There is an app on the internet called Signal, or possibly you can use Telegram, but the Signal is really very better. Every one of you should download it before you leave this place, and we use it for communication. It can do both calls and also chatting, message chatting, you can share heavy videos, you can also share, you know, 
the large volume of recorded information. So let us work on this all together. What I really don't want is to see any of this information leak. It is really very dangerous. And whoever gets this kind of information at this arrangement, it will be an abortion, it will be a miscarriage of this project. And then this project is supposed to move beyond. So the reporting that's are going to be given by, by, by myself. We are not going to come here, but we know within a fortnight you should have something to report. I don't want to contact you when you totally have nothing to report. And we are not involving the big bosses at this time. At least when the project has grown up to around 60%, we can now have mutual meetings with our bosses. But we are here in their supervision. They are supervising whatever is happening. This phone I'm carrying is for one of our bosses. And I have to tell you, I am recording every aspect of the meeting that is happening. Every aspect that we are discussing here, he's supposed to have it. It is in fright mode, don't worry. But anyone can call on it or anything can be transmitted. So it is simply a recording device and I'm going to take whatever we have discussed here, whatever we have given you for further management. So that is how it is. So I really don't want us to fall victim to any kind of leakages. So that is what I'm praying for. And that is what I'm requesting. And please avoid name calling. Make sure you have codes. Team Alpha, you, are many, you, you have so many political connections. You have to be, to be very careful. Team Bravo, you know exactly what to do. When it comes to managing information, going to His Excellency, you know how exactly to do it. So Team Cherry, field work, you are very good. So let us do whatever we need to do with a lot of diligence, with a lot of care, carefulness. I, I, I hope you, are, you all understand. And uh, any questions that you could be having, please, I'm going to wait for them. But you are going to do it in the back room. Mainly we have to pick these tasks and make sure to do whatever it takes. So I will be giving those tasks after his introduction. Then we get to know how exactly we are supposed to go. And the, the, the burden everyone have. He's going to handle the finances. It is not my responsibility. I hope I'm okay. And I beg to sit down. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. So, uh... I thank you. So now uh, I have spoken randomly, but I hope you, you, you know how to, to to pick sense out of nonsense. That, that, that is your expertise. I, I know I know some of you in uh, in intelligence analysis. You know what to do. Intelligence gathering. You know how to do. Then intelligence reporting. You all, you all know. You are very familiar with that. So uh, let us work together, and we get moving. Uh, so, um, as, uh, as we are saying, you know, with the presidency, I don't think uh, the current st the, the status quo can be changed when uh, the son of the president, the, the president walks in. I don't expect. I expect some radical changes because uh, from among the, 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 the first sons uh, in row, I think they are very professional, well educated, more articulate, and the more more visionary. There is a lot they can offer. Yeah, that that one's really very good. But now we are looking at uh, our pursuit. Everybody is saying, "Yeah, hey, speaker's very emotional and all of that." She's a mother, firstly. Secondly, she's a human being. If somebody can be emotional, can be good, as long as there is an observance, a right check of uh, emotional performance, emotional maturity, emotional intelligence. So those are manageable. But what is the focus of it all? So we all believe Taiwan must be eyeing becoming a full speaker. So Team Alpha and Team Charlie, you know what to do. Make sure you fail all measures. Now Team Delta, I think you also know uh, how to disinform or even misinform the president in case you wish. But one thing you know, deny the deputy speaker any opportunity 
to land on large funds. Let him survive on allowances and all that within his regular business of money lending with his real estate enterprises. Whatever he does, let it be at that. The rest, keep it away from him. Fight alongside those who are going to block any form of... But already, well, thank you, uh, this lady. Um, you did a very good job to make sure that she she's a full speaker. I mean, she's a full permanent secretary with all with a full mandate. Thank you. You did a very good job, Tim Charlie. So the rest, yes, we can hold it all together. <laughs> I, I see nothing to threaten us, and I can also assure you uh, that uh, there are those factors that should not be allowed to affect us permanently. They should not. They should not. At least we can take advantage of all that is available on our side. And uh, we roll and get moving. So what we have are the tasks at hand, but uh, your, your commander is right here. Let him deliberate on that is uh, all from the five points so that we can have it very clearly and then we get the move thank you very much so i really thank you uh my colleague so my comrades, there is a lot to talk about, but I first of all want to caution you, this is a very secret operation, I wouldn't like anyone to, to take it casually, because each of you in attendance is going to go with the 20 million Uganda shillings in cash, and that is his responsibility, but that is an opening role, and all of you should drive towards Kampara starting from midnight, just to make sure that starting from midnight, and don't move in a convoy. Please, go independently. You have your bodyguards. Some of you have bodyguards outside. But make sure that you do and perform to your best. Now here are the tasks you have. I'm starting with Tim Charlie. I mean Tim, Tim Arfa. Tim Arfa. You're going to be managing political intelligence. Now the first thing we are going to be looking at. First day, Is that we need the total surveillance. I think uh, uh, Team Dirty have access to the SFC cyber unit. I'm going to furnish you with all the contacts of the people uh, surrounding the, the deputy speaker so that you can start your pursuit, your pursuit. Now, the main objective of this is we need to tap into their communication, both official communication and non official communication. Mm -hmm. If chance allowed, please, even those at home, I think you have, we have all the contacts of the security details of these people. So make sure you totally track these people and you have a, a, a full record of all the movements of the speaker, I mean the deputy speaker, and all that he does. We need that information. We need to study his outings, his business dealings, and all that happens. So, Tim Delta, can, you, you can code their work with the SFC Cyber Unit to help us with that. Then we are going to also talk about uh, people, members of political intelligence, those who are, who, um, I think, running the, is it the cyber unit? Possibly, we talk about internal security organization, we talk about CMI and also external security. So make sure that you, you try to run, to, I mean, to, to you try to perceive, first of all, observe, record, then we try to process any advantage we can take that can give a negative report about the deputy speaker that is going to be very good we are going to plant some informers we will also have to engage the commanding officer the, the, the CEO of uh, the security detail of the area also the CEO of all intelligence and the IO of the parliament area we also need to be availed with all such information 
Then uh, team uh, team uh, Bravo, you also have to go into the banking system. Get know how this man runs his money. What international transactions is getting internal transactions and his compliance with the URA. We need all this inform all this information recorded down, and we need the primary report within 14 days. So that should be made available. And uh, now um, political intelligence. I'm coming back to you, and also uh, that is Alpha team. And also, um, Team Bravo. Let us also try to cross examine and establish the Busoga Kingdom as a battlefield for a cold war to determine who the next speaker should be and what parliament should be, what parliament it should become in the next period. Consider about four years from now. Let it be a battleground to. I mean to throw out all the politicians that were part of the system, the whole of yesterday. Make sure, make sure that you run every detail so that you can make well from the decisions. We can also make professional pursuit such that every kind of action that can be commissioned to run over any project or to direct any project is very fundamental on the pillars of factual information. That has been dug from the public. Don't care about the public, but mainly care about the activities. First of all, the chapters. There's a lot of man that is going to flow to that side. But the secondary, we need all of the political veterans in that line, foreign completely. Get them off the rail. Those who failed already, take them off. We need rising and let the the district rise beyond all the other districts of the east. So we should also consider that as well. So I believe you are putting all this in the ink for your reference, so it is really very important. Mm -hmm. So another subject, how do we create a vacuum in the highest office, a political vacuum in the highest office? How can we capitalize the conflict between the MK project, it is a psychological conflict, much as they are working together, but we can foment a conflict between Hadjat Namiaro and the MK movement, it is really very possible. But it would also involve some budget. But you know, people who have well of us in the Warcraft, you can know how to do that. That's what I'm certainly very sure. You can do that. So, put it on notice. Put it on notice. So, there is something we all must note. We know that Taiwa is wants to rise and become a speaker. But again, beyond the speakership, there is only one simple office, single office, the office of the president. But we don't have the nerves, we don't have the muscles, we don't have the skeleton strong enough to prepare us there at this moment. There, between now and then, there is a very big war that must happen. A very big war that must happen. But none of you should attack the president in any way. He's the commander-in-chief and is well-founded. But when he chooses to retire to exit, that is where the real battle should begin. Now there is an automated advantage that is heading towards the Mosque and Rugav. So think, how do we deter this? How do we come to this? How do we get involved? How do we manipulate? How do we alter? How do we manage? And how do we disband? So we should all have these points in a way. So go and brainstorm on that. Then come back. So the subject where you feature best is going to be your special operations. And it's going to be specially funded. So that is what we are going to be doing. So we are going to take advantage of all the, the state apparatus or apparatus to make sure that we can fertilize our project. To make it move faster, we catalyze all the processes so they also run faster. And then we come up with a grand project. But it is at a very early stage. So any leakage of such information would be miscarriage to our prisoners. And we should take clear notes of it. Good. Thank you uh, very much. If I, I actually, it is very important. It is a life risk project. If this information goes in the wrong hand, many of you are going to have your careers stopped. 
Men of you are going to end up in my boss in Makin. You are going to end up in my boss in Runyo. Some of you are going to end up in Mbuya. Some of you will end up in Bombo. Some of you are going to sleep in your graves. So you have to be extremely careful. Not to release information. Be very careful. To release. To protect this information. Please proceed, my brother. Thank you very much. I think you all know the military code. You break it, you die. You break it, you die. All of your project leaders, whoever is here is a project leader. We don't have raw end operatives in this meeting. So you know what to do. You know what to do. But to reserve all the names, we use aliases, and we are very you are all very familiar with it. So, as we have taken the platinum, we call platinum the top boss. Then one gentleman with whom I came is the deputy of this project. So it all begins. It is a tough exercise, but we must do it. And the protection and the progress of this project is going to be to totally rely on secrecy and efficiency. So wherever you are, be present but to remain invisible. That is the principle. Be present but to remain invisible. That is what we should be looking at. So you take note that we are out of time. We need bosses that are going to care, to, to care about your families. We need bosses that are going to take care of this country, not the selfish ones, not those who are self-centered. So that is what we're looking at. Everybody has assumed that all of us who come from the West should support the status quo. If we look beyond this, there is no single empire that can ever collapse. This is not even a dynasty yet. It is already cracking. And Bukedea must wipe the floor with the status quo. As simple as that. So we should not allow the continuity of a status quo as unrest as your Kabutam Soviet in charge. The mirror image of the status quo should be at least one of the first sons to take charge because at least they can interact with all the other regions so easily. We can bring down the entire conspiracy that has been running for generations where just a few members of the family will accumulate a lot of wealth. That is what we think. Why should another Taiwa also become a very important man in the same sequence from the West? East should take up. Central should remain in their mediocrity position. As simple as that. So let the East come on the plate. They're going to bring very close the North and the Western areas. Then we create a new breed of leaders. Very important leaders. We are tired of the cow economy, where everybody in the position of power is looking at Uganda as a cow. They know when to milk it, when they must feed, hmm? when it must be dipped. No, that should stop. The cow economy, the cow mentality should end with the present theory of Kukutam At least some of the members of the first family are well vast. Some of them started their lives in Europe where of us their perception is very different and they are really doing the best to see that everything progresses very very well so that is where we are heading so let us take up this responsibility as responsible Ugandans many of you here don't come from the east the, the west and I saw you many of you were very shocked to see that I come from the west and I, I'm right here Yes, people like Taiwa should not come in a, anywhere above the, the current positions where they are. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. Kasura Rumumba has been pinned for the same reason. For the same reason, how can you done with all of those people? Look at the Chabazinga thing. Out of the 2,000 invitees, more than 50% were from the same region. 
The Masoka were very few. What kind of Charazinga ship is that? It was for the Masoka. Not for the Batyankot. Not for us, the Bahima. No. Not for the Bararu. Not. Everybody is very pleased about the, 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 the oil sector. But the East and the North have Mogorod with greater wealth than, I mean, than the oil everybody is thinking about. Look at how the first family is in Algeria. On courses of oil to come and manage the sector, the oil sector. Is that the kind of cake that we want to share with the cake? For us who are very, very well versed with, uh, with hybrids, we are right here. My wife is an Eastern, from the East. I also have my friend, he's a, he's a, he's a doctor at the Macquarie University. He came to Paris and married a woman who was pursuing a PhD in the United States. All the way from Bouchain to Paris. All the way from Ishaka. I married from in the Bouquet there. So this is our time. This is your time. You have been a photo store for so long. It is the time for the Easterners to take charge of this country. Think about it. If there is any mitigation between, if there should be any bridge between the Yorick Akutam 7 and an Easterner, that bridge should be from one of the first, the, 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 the sons in the row of the current regime. So that is what I would think. That is what I think. So primarily, you have these topics to discuss and we shall return here in two weeks. Every one of you should have a report to share. Kindly, keep time the same venue. Make sure you do not report to anyone how you're coming here. We said we are leaving no signatures. Leave your officials, your official cars behind. Get different vehicles that have not been, that are in no way attached to you. So please do that. That is going to be very important. We have 20 million, each of you here, as a transport to refund and allowance and use it to equip you to start this project. That is what you should be looking at right now so i hand over to the chairman of the meeting the chief organizer and is your host thank you very much i think we have it already now uh, i'm very thankful uh, that we are we are somewhere now thank you for being elaborative and i know you know your tasks so uh, let us confuse the Soga region so that you can master it. Secondary, let us throw all the veteran politicians, those that are not willing to seek uh, the power shift to another region, we get rid of them. Then we know. The deputy speaker should stop at that. He can only be allowed to become speaker of uh, the parliament of Uganda. When at least Bukete is in charge of this country. So another issue. There was a bigger project, you know. Financially, officially. All of those PFAs, you know how to talk to them to classify them differently, put them in clusters that you can, you can manage and curtail him, get him tied up and have him stagnate, let him stagnate and let him keep oscillating within one position, left, right, left, right. Don't allow him to settle. Then make sure you manage parliament very, very well. Then find ways of handling, of handling the opposition. Political intelligence were very good at that. You can do it. 
Uh, then we also uh, going to look at, I uh, think, uh, I don't want to take, uh, I mean, uh, you, you know how to manage between uh, Chad and the Emco. I mean, Chad, yes, you know how to manage uh, Chambogo and, uh, uh, and the MK. I know there are wankies, so many of them there. Uh, people like uh, Frank Gashumba. There are so many MPs, you can confuse and really they come. Because I know most of those MPs went uh, to the Chabazinga because of MK and also because of Taibo. Now we can agree that Taibo has a higher credit score than our side. But we can do something about it. And lower that credit score. There's so much. I think we can capitalize on the opposition. The NUP, the LOP, if we can meet them, they can do the best out of that. So, uh, but we thank you. Many of you have cooperated for some good time. And uh, thank you for keeping this project a secret. I'm very happy. Uh, you're, you're silent, you're going to wave at our, uh, one of the big bosses is here. We're going to see him. Just say hello to him. There's no dialogue, of course. He, he has not attended this meeting, but whatever uh, we are recording here is going to be consumed by him. And then we are also going to share to Platinum so that they are both at par. But I can promise you, everything is well. So I'm going to ask you, um, you have these khaki envelopes here. So as you leave, I think uh, everybody, each contains uh, 20 million shillings. It is for you. It is for you. So take your time. Uh, dinner has been prepared at the side, at the back side. So you start moving uh, deep in the night. Go and be good in the first place. Go and be very good. Go and be very, very good. But we're reporting back here, the same place, same time. We are not going to make one. Just get yourself here. So your commanding officer here is going to also be engaging you throughout the week. But as he said, take your time. Download those apps. Signal or Telegram. Then you centralize your, your communication. In case you find it dangerous to move physically, those apps can deliver this information so we can convene and also get you know you know between now and then so much can happen but that communication is a must between your commanding officer and team alpha bravo charlie delta now you as team leaders you know how to manage your tasks. So go recruit your assets. Any additional finances are going to be delivered by your commanding officer right here. So this is your transport refund, but uh, when you're set, each of you is going to get to get 50 million to recruit your, your assets that are going to help you reach out to the field in information gathering. That is what we need. That's what we are talking about. So you can do the needful, then you leave the rest of me. Thank you. I am. I am delighted to meet you. If anyone else wants to from you, I'll come
Now, me, I, I, I simply appreciate. I appreciate everything. I hope you have noted everything down. So, what is left, I think, is... Um, anyway, the rest we can communicate. So let's first go to the back side and the down the road. All that, the information that we need. We we also prepare ourselves as you have you have a meal you have a drink you have a meal then we can casually d discuss anything that you'd need but as we say any discussion should leave our big bosses behind the curtains but whatever operations you are going to be contacting be present but remain invisible that is a conclusive remark I have for you but make sure you are very smart at doing this make sure we 